Hello everyone, uh, welcome to join us. This is Steven from La Chance of China. Thank you with La Chance to find the difference. Today we are going to talk about the mycotoxins in the world, in the field industries. As you know, mycotoxin is a very big problem in the field industry. Uh, mycotoxins are toxic uh, compounds produced by some types of fungi growing in the field ingredients. This fungi can infect grains in the field as well as during the harvest, uh, handling and storage and also the transportation. So although, although currently more than 200 uh, mycotoxins uh, have been identified, but it is believed that only a few influenced the productive and the reproductive performance of the pigs. So today we are going to talk about the specific mycotoxins uh, on pigs. So the risk of mycotoxins is dependent on the age and the health condition of the pigs and the level of the toxins present in the feed. The most serious effect of the death is the death of the animals, but low levels of the mycotoxins can impair the performance and the general welfare of the pigs. When the pigs consume the feed uh, con uh, containing the mycotoxins, so the toxins can affect the nervous system, uh, the liver, kidneys, the lungs, uh, the, immune, the immune system, or the reproduc uh, reproduction of the cells. Mycotoxin in the pig production has a lot of affections. So today I want to talk about four mycotoxins uh, in this show. So the first one is the aflatoxin. Uh, second one is the the renin, the renin -renin, and the third one is don d o n don and the last one is the uh, 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 These are the mycotoxins of the greatest concern in the pigs industry. So each of these mycotoxins are produced by a specific fungi, so requiring ideal conditions to to promote their production. Uh, with high humidity and high temperature are the main requirements for that. So here I want first I will talk about the aflatoxin. So aflatoxin affects the pig uh, performance dif uh, differently depending on the age and the health condition of the animals. So as well as the concentration of the toxins in the feed. So the young pigs are more sensitive to its effects. Uh, symptoms occur with concentration in the range of the parts per billion, so it's PBB. Uh, small amounts can reduce the performance and the, the general health of the pigs. Aflatoxin in low levels, uh, like 20 to 200 PBB, reduces the immune system's response, uh, making pigs move. Uh, susceptible to bacteria, uh, virus, or some other disease. So prolonged exposure to the aflatoxin can lead to the liver damage, cancer, and uh, joints and uh, internal bleeding. Sometimes you will find the sudden death of the pigs. Over time, the profits of the farm will be reduced due to the loss of efficiency uh, slow growth and the increased cost of the uh, treatment, like the medicines or something like that. So when aflatoxin contamination levels are high concentra concentrations, like 1,000 to 5,000 ppb, the, f the effects are acute. So inc inducing, including the death, uh, just as I mentioned, aflatoxin M1 uh, is a, a kind of Aflatoxin, it is found in the milk of souls, uh, so it will transfer to the piglets, then it will affect the health condition and the growth of the pigs, uh, piglets. So it is very important to, to, to us. The second one I want to talk about is the ZEN, the uh, zero It is one of that the most seriously affect the reproduction performance of the souls. It can cause the changes in the genital system of uh, immature gills. So visual changes including the redness of the vulva 
and uh, increase the in size and the weight of the uh, uterus and the enlargement of the mammary gland. So in extreme cases, uh, some, some very uh, fatal, uh, uh, some fatal effects will, see, will occur. So intake of the feed uh, containing of 10 parts of the of per billion ppm of the mycotoxin ZEN is sufficient to alter the onset of the guilt. Uh, however, several studies show that the effects of this mycotoxin are not permanent and that the guilt can reproduce without uh, reduction in fertility after a period of two weeks without ingesting this mycotoxin. So the diet uh, containing 25 to 100 ppm of the yen uh, supplied continuously from winning to rearing causes a severe case of infertility. Uh, Lactating uh, cells are also uh, susceptible to high concentration of the yen. Uh, when fed with five uh, 50 to 100 ppm for two weeks before winning and about six days after winning. So they show constant uh, asterisks. So fat the, with the containing 10 ppm of the end during the last 14 days of lactation uh, exhibit uh, prolonged interval from winning to, to heat. So when males consume 40 ppm of the yen from 14 to 18 weeks of the age, their libido levels decrease compared with untreated mice. So the farms with a history of the contamination of the, the diet with uh, the yen commonly report uh, cases of stillbirth mortality, uh, fetal uh, mummification, uh, abortion, and abnorm uh, abnormal return of uh, asteroids. So in addition, in most cases, the feed contain, uh, contaminated by mycotoxin has not been adequately uh, tested and the uh, conclusion that drawn from the field observations. So therefore, it is possible that other uh, Mycotoxins with, uh, compared with the ENR interacting to produce these effects. The third one is I want to talk about the DOM. It is also a very common uh, mycotoxin in the field. It commonly contaminates in corn, uh, wheat, and DDGS, and the pigs are reported to be the most sensitive species. This mycotoxin interferes with protein synthesis, uh, and also it will affect the immunity system. Despite what the name suggests, it really induces uh, vomiting of pigs. Uh, the acute uh, toxicity picture is uncommon, but it is only this in this case that vomiting, diarrhea, uh, several digestive lessons and suddenness can, can be found. So in most cases, this is a rapid decrease in feed consumption, lead to a reproduction, a reduction in the growth performance. Uh, the impact on food intakes is dependent on the contamination dosage, uh, with an estimate 4% uh, reduction in feed intake or each addition, additionally PBM of dome above the 1.5 ppm concentration in the diet. So the last one is I want to talk about fumonisins. So it is also a very common mycotoxin. Uh, it will this mycotoxin interfere with cell function and uh, signaling in many tissues, uh, but mainly the lungs, the heart, and the liver. So these they are also cause the uh, immunosuppression. Uh, acute toxicity causes the clinic picture of uh, 
pulmonary uh, edema uh, causing heart failure and the fluid accumulation in the lungs. So the pigs you know, acute uh, toxicity have severe uh, res uh, respiratory signs, which difficult like the uh, very difficult breathing <coughs> and uh, cause death. <coughs> uh, the chronic toxicity is due to the in ingestion of small amounts of uh, formalinases for a prolonged period. Uh, animals with uh, chronic, uh, chronic uh, toxicity have lower feet intake and a lower growth performance. But it may co uh, be also be more uh, susceptible to secondary disease uh, and cause a lot, a lot of other immune system disorders. So what will we do for, for the mycotoxins? Uh, even with the low concentration of the mycotoxins, uh, this kind of grains or materials can affect the health and performance of our animals. Studies for for award this in the pig diet should be taken. So condimented diets should be always avoided to use in the field, especially for the younger and breeding animals. So other strategies for the for this is with a high concentration of mycotoxins can be adopted such as uh, locating this uh, feeds to species less sensitive to mycotoxins uh, but it's not a good idea to do that uh, the inclusion of the uh, mycotoxin absorbent to be used in the diet is a very good strategy now in the field However, a lot of attention as mycotoxin absorbent are not really effective against all the mycotoxins because it can only work with the free mycotoxins and uh, sometimes it will break the nutrients level in the feed. Uh, when, the feed when the animals take the feed into their body, some of the mycotoxins will release again, so it is not a very efficient method to avoid the mycotoxins. Uh, what do we do now? So we we suggest to use um, some functional uh, feed additives like the bell acids uh, together with the absorbent. Uh, as you know, uh, bell acids can uh, protect the liver health. It can enhance the stimulation the of the bile of, from the liver. It can help to eliminate the mycotoxins and the endotoxins out of the liver. And according to the research, uh, it showed that when the, when the bell acids can combine with the mycotoxins and decompose them directly. Uh, some researcher, research shows that the fungal receptor as a kind of re receptor of bell acids, it is related to the gene expression uh, to decompose the mycotoxins. So through this way, uh, bell acids together with the absorbents is a very better solution to the mycotoxins. So here is my uh, sharing for today's show. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye.